Well, good day. Good to meet you. I'm a co-host here with uh, Scott Seabright from um, England. And um, you can't really figure out where I'm from. I just sound a little bit different, but you can see that I'm uh, not Scott. <laughs> anyway, it's great to be with you. And uh, mate, oh, I'm going to try and um, get to the bottom of this. I'm going to ask Scott some questions. And maybe we can get on this wonderful adventure together to see why do we need to listen to sermons and how do we listen to sermons in church. It's great to be here on our first uh, training session on how to listen to sermons. How do we listen up in, in church? Uh, right now, um, you are probably, right now we're doing everything online. Uh, sometimes there might, might be a meeting. Um, but at some point you will be sitting in church listening to sermons and probably a little bit sooner rather than later because of uh this pandemic and so it might be a long time before we actually get to have a separate uh ministry on a sunday or you're probably growing up uh, fast and so you're going to be sitting in church and how best to use your time as you listen to a sermon is the question so we're going to have this this course it will be seven or eight videos the best way to use this is not for you just to watch it on your own, uh, is to sit some time with your parents and say, hey, parents, listen up, we need to do this together. This is going to help you and this is going to help me um, because there'll be questions for discussion uh, afterwards. Uh, so this is our first uh, topic, our first session, and um, let's go over to the title. Well, um, my question is this. It, it, isn't it just like watching TV? I mean, um, I'm just sitting there. That's the main thing. Uh, uh, I'm sitting and uh, taking it all in. Uh, I mean, maybe it could be like TV. <laughs> Change the channel if you don't like the preacher. Uh, push pause. Uh, or maybe fast forward. Or <laughs> but, but seriously, I don't see what the difference is why we have to have a whole course on listening to a sermon. I listen to TV programs like... Uh, Squirrel Hunters. Over to you, Scott. Thank you, Squirrel Dundee. That was a, a great question. Um, yeah, it's not exactly like that. Um, it's very easy to think that a sermon is just something that happens to you, like watching TV, being being passive. Uh, it, it's probably even closer more to a video game than watching TV. I bet you never thought about that. Uh, but listen to this. Forget what I have to say. Let's hear what Jesus had to say in the parable of the sower from Luke 8, verse 18. Therefore, consider carefully how you listen. Whoever has will be given more, and whoever does not have, even what they think they have will be taken from them. So this tells us that it's not passive. It's quite dangerous in a way because you cannot remain the same after listening to a sermon. Either you'll have more, or even what you think you have will be taken away from you. Oh, that's a lot more serious than I thought, you know. Very good things to think about. Um, okay, well, how about this then? Let's just say, as long as I come to church or Zoom in each week, uh, won't that just be fine? When I'll be sort of like uh, ticking um, my card off. I've got a card for... Um, uh, reindeer smoothies and you just uh, tick the card off each time and then you get a free one for the 10th time isn't it just sort of like that just ticking the boxes come to church um, it's not going to change anything but uh, make mom and dad happy it's a good question um, and uh, just turning up is not enough um, uh, Jesus actually says in Mark we can be ever hearing, but never understanding. We can be listening, but it, it's just not going through. And uh, it's dangerous business listening to a sermon. It, it can make you move closer to having a relationship with God. Or it can make your heart get even harder and you just say, I've had enough. And for Christians, it's also uh, the voice of God and helps them grow. And so depend where you are in your thinking. Um, it can be dangerous. But it can be glorious. So we need to listen carefully. We need to expect God to speak. So here's the important question. How do we listen carefully? How do we listen carefully? So the first point is we need to expect God to speak. 
When we come to church and listen to a sermon, we to expect God to speak. Uh, and now uh, we've got a fu little fun scenario. Uh, over to you, um, Squirrel. To uh, people I'd like you to meet, Andrew and Amanda. And so we have uh, Andrew uh, and Amanda. Now, Andrew, he likes church. He likes church a lot. I mean, he's he's found a lockdown hard uh, because uh, of singing when he's gone to church. Uh, he likes to sing. He loves the music. In fact, um, he wishes he could be a, a musician as well. He likes the, the cake afterwards. Uh, he likes seeing some of his friends. Uh, but the sermons, oh, he just he could do without them. Put, put, it, put it that way. Um, uh, he likes church, but the sermons are something to be desired here we have um uh, amanda and uh, amanda um she, she likes church um but but um what she really gets excited about um even sometimes when she doesn't feel like it but she knows it's good is that going to church is like her um waiting by the phone for uh, for her for princess uh, catherine the duchess of cambridge to call her if she knew that was happening, she'd wait by the phone, waiting expectantly, uh, because uh, sh she's going to hear from what she thinks is an important person. And so she understands that the highlight of church is listening to God speak. Because when the Bible's taught faithfully, God speaks uh, not just to the church, but to her personally. And so she wants to pay close attention uh, to, to that. So the question is, who's right? Both love church, uh, but uh, one sees the highlight of um, church hearing God speak. Other things, people and food and music are great, but couldn't really be bothered with the sermon. So which which one is right, Andrew or Amanda? Amanda, she understands that even, even when she might not uh, totally feel like it, She's going to sit when the sermon comes and pray and say, God, help me listen, because you're speaking. Um, that's how God governs his church. That's how God speaks, through his word and by his spirit. Uh, there's lots of other parts of church that are wonderful, but that's when God's speaking uh, to us. It's interesting that um, people might say to you uh, that you know, what matters is video and music and uh, animation and PowerPoint presentations, people think that's the best way to communicate. And that's how um, advertising uh, works. But when it comes to something really important, uh, like um, people going to war, um, or as we have been listening to the COVID pandemic, people sit and they listen to the Prime Minister speak. How are we going to get through such uh, a time? And what could be more important than uh, not just listening to a prime minister, but God himself speak? And now it's time for question time. Question time. Um, here are some questions. I'll put them up. And uh, th this is to be discussed with the people s uh, sitting with you, mom or dad or uh, whoever. And so hit the pause button. Uh, first question is, what do you think about staying in church and listening to a sermon? Question two, are you bored or disinterested? And, and be honest, um, or just can't concentrate for that long. Question three, what do you think is happening when a sermon is given? And now it's time for top tips. Well done, these top tips. Look up next week's passage and read it at home. Pray for next Sunday's preacher. Pray for yourself that by the Spirit of God you will grow and that he'll help you listen to the word, his word, spoken by the preacher. So pray that the Spirit will help you listen. Now this is a this is a good tip. Don't stay up too late on Saturday night. Very tempting, but you all know that your brain don't work so good if you're sitting in church or zooming early on Sunday morning and you only just gone to bed. Why don't you pray just before the sermon starts? 
that God will teach you. Brilliant. So, and now you've uh, d discussed um, that hopefully it's helpful. If there are any questions or comments or concerns, you've talked to your parents, let them know. There's a WhatsApp group where they can send me a, a message um, and I can try and answer that. So uh, let's, let's have a look at next week. Hopefully that's helped you. Thank you so much. I have a good day. Bye. Bye and good day. I'll see you next week from Squirrel Dundee.